The Theater Curation Project was born in the spirit of stewardship over the art, craft, and history of the theater. Its purpose is to curate these stories of our mentors and what they passed on to us to be a resource for future generations. Its goal is to preserve these stories and the lessons within them from being lost forever. I'm Trish Lindstrom and I'm primarily an actor. I graduated from the National Theatre School in Montreal in 2002 where I worked with a host of incredibly inspiring and talented teachers and students. During my time there, I worked with one teacher in particular who I'm still quite close with 20 years later, Carol Rosenfeld. She was our second year scene study teacher. We worked on one scene for six weeks. We were terrified of Carol. She demanded a kind of focus and vulnerability that few of us had ever had to muster before. I just got off the phone with Carol and she was talking about the Zoom play she attended last night, the Zoom class she was teaching, and the Zoom class that she was also taking at HB Studio where she, where she works. Carol does not stop learning. Carol does not stop questioning. Carol does not stop stepping back and having a beginner's mind and willing to say, I don't know. She's twice my age and she is still living in the world with her palms open, ready to receive any kind of new knowledge or information that she may or may not already know. I remember that one of her teachings in class when we would get in the frenzy, we all know it, that frenzy of monkey mind that says, we're not good enough. Um, I can't do this. I, why am I even here? Why are we doing this? All the extraneous voices that come in when we're working on, on stuff that's potentially very difficult. Carol would always say, come back to the text. Come back to the play. Do something for the play. Just to escape that part of ourselves that is sabotaging our experience. So I often think of that when I'm in the work and when I'm in my life. When things are getting out of control and the, the brain is going to places that are not helpful come back to what is true and what is real, something that's concrete. And for Carol, that, that's plays. And for many of us, it's just coming back to our breath. But I'm, I'm forever indebted to Carol for our friendship and for the gifts that she continues to offer her students. Please subscribe to our Theatre Curation Project YouTube channel to see previous installments and hit the notification bell to be alerted when a new story has been posted.